just breathe. To do a Luke Skywalker line for that for some reason from The Last Jedi. Hey, it's Take No Advice, a show that uh, references, references Star Wars sometimes. Um, and I'm Jeff, and across from me at the CPO radio table hello, is hello. MK. And she's a writer. She does that for a living. She gets money. Sometimes. <laughs> Punch you today. Oh, totally. <laughs> wow. This is our first show. No. <laughs> oh, these poor listeners are going, what is in the coffee? Yeah, it's, it's snowing like crazy today. So it we're, is. We're, we're feeling playful. Yeah. I was out there early uh, pushing that uh, stuff around. Very powdery, very light, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. It's it's an okay snow today. I, mean, I was digging it. My wife was digging it. She's from Mexico. and she, Digging literally? Uh, oh. No. Well, no, that was me. <laughs> yeah. She was digging watching me digging. Oh, well, so, that, that, yes. that would be entertaining. Entertainment Absolutely. value alone. I'm um, just is, up the block. The Feel little, free to gather around. The little snowman at this point up to his arm. He needs and, a snorkel. Yeah, <laughs> it's not yeah, looking you've good. Got, like, bird yard art, and, it, yeah. and from the western angle, because I, I walked down the street past a house. Uh, absolutely. You know, we we're neighborly here. Yes. Uh, that bird actually looks like it's attacking the snowman. <laughs> bird is crazy. I didn't like it from day one. Aww, now I'm starting to enjoy I it. Like I guess it. because it's insane. It's a little. It's 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 uh it's Michigas. <laughs> Yiddish, Yiddish. We were talking Yiddish before the broadcast, but we won't do a lot of this. Show will not be entirely in Yiddish. I promise you. Uh, we talk about writing, and um, ooh, that just gave me a topic. <laughs> that would be fun. No, um, you don't want me broaching that one. So we're gonna play. Well, first, I want to just do a little check in with you here, a little accountability check in. How are things going since we last talked? Where are you at? Anything? Any developments? Because I mean, you left us kind of on a cliffhanger, like you know. I dropped a book trailer online. Okay, you finished I that. You were working website, on that when we last. New website spoke. rolled out. A new website. Mm-hmm. Would you like to give out the URL? No. <laughs> Google me. <laughs> I'm really good at marketing. Can why am I in know? charge of the business That's side of things is, here? This is, this is a show called Take No Advice. Don't take marketing advice from me. Wow. So we'll, we'll what keep... Am I, what is, I, I used to say I'm a um, uh, popular writer of unpopular fiction, or, or the other right. way around, really. Yeah. Which is a really good... That's a very, it's pretty marketing-y, you know, I think. You know? Uh-huh. Um, yeah, no, we, no. we like her for that. People toss a marketing hat at me, and I usually just... Throw it away. Just yeet. And that's kind of well. So. I got to say yeet on the yeah. radio. All right, all right. My husband. So and spelling I, on that. Y e e t. I thought so. Um, my husband so. and I really uh, have a a differing opinion on that word. I love yeah. the word yeet. I just do. I think it's the most beautiful, fun thing to say. Is it T silent or no? Yeet. You only eat. All right. Yeet. All right. Yeet. Uh, he he just he hates it when I can sneak. Because Y e a t would be yeet, but it's not. It's yeet. Just it's poetry to my ears. Oh, very good. Oh, okay. Aren't you, aren't you glad you did? the other third of the audience. Aren't you glad you tuned like, in today? Mm, um, mm. So, so hit we were me, talking hit about your best shot. breaking yes. rules a little bit here. Not so much breaking rules, but like not following um, a set path. And, yeah. uh, you know. Popular, um, unpopular fiction. Right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, you you did mention that um, you you have not talked at length about your process because possibly your process isn't even a process which is a little meta for me to say <laughs> so um, let's unpack that shall we <laughs> it's not a conscious process maybe I, I don't know it's something i don't think about it just i do right which is probably <laughs> that's that's the biggest it's lesson right art. there no i mean self-taught you, naive art right there i mean I spent so many years obsessing over process and not writing because I was obsessing <gasps> over process. I did 20 years of that. Right, right. <gasps> Thank Dramatic you. <laughs> Gotta get it in there twice. My sound effect board here. Um, so I do 20, all my own sound effects. 20 years of buying every screenplay book out there. I bought them all. I bought yeah, every single one. People are always recommending books about writing. Like, sure. Or, or have you read this or mm-hmm. did you go to that course? I'm like, Bird by Bird, Ed and Amat. Did you do that one? Oh. Zen in the Art of Writing, Ray Bradbury. Did you do that one? Did yeah. you do? No? Good. Uh-uh. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> it might mess you up. <laughs> um, um, because the thing is, you just want results. You want a product at the end of the day. Dare I call it product, but that's the marketing well, I side what of I it. I like I like what I do. Ah. It seems to go over well. There you go. So, Absolutely. You know, it passes the smell test, as it were. You did actually release your officially your cover on Facebook. I saw that yes, it was an it official did. release. Yes, it did. Well, no, that was an unofficial release. Oh. That was amongst friends. That's my personal page. And I was like, <laughs> afterward, I'm like, oh Make- my gosh, all my friends are liking this. And I feel really embarrassed because 
I never really like to talk about writing on my personal page because it feels like, I mean, my dentist friends don't talk about what teeth they pulled this week, you know? <laughs> yeah. I did this awesome root canal. It was yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I, mean, I stood on a hoverboard business. and did Keep an extraction. Did you see that video of the dentist standing on a hoverboard doing an extraction? He's in big trouble right now. I don't know why he did it. <laughs> YouTube famous? It's a video, I, oh, it's a video you, like a nope, security nope. cam video. It's a nope, horror. No, out, I, no the attraction, it went well. Nope. He did it well. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not a fan of dental things. We have yeah. to put that in your next book. I'm not a fan of people cracking knuckles. It freaks me out. I don't know why. Uh-huh. I feel their pain. No, I sure. physically feel people, other people's pain. Really? Oh, yeah. I usually watch a lot of movies that have anything, any sort of blood or horror. Yeah. Anything. I usually watch them with my glasses because I can see all of six inches without them. So, wow. so I mean, like the, the whole first third of Doctor Strange, I couldn't watch. <laughs> I had my ears plugged yeah. and my glasses lowered so I couldn't see anything other wow. than a blurry TV screen across the room. And my husband was punching my arm when it was clear. And then, it was, of course, I was like a billion self, false alarms in that movie. <laughs> He's like, okay, we're going, oh, sorry, no. Yeah. <laughs> so I should not be inviting you over for the Friday the 13th marathon we're having at the end of the month. Because you'll feel every single... <laughs> Machete, every all of that. I'll probably feel it from down the block. Down the block, that's true. You're close enough. <laughs> we will not do it in an outdoor setting, but um, fascinating. So, um, okay, well, so your cover's out and for that this. That is why she doesn't have a lot of violence in her books. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's, what, <laughs> that's okay too. I think violence is a little overrated at this juncture, but um, there's such a thing as you know psychological violence. Uh, I've gotten you know, into emotional jam violence, and, jam and jelly lately. I'm like, it's just not my jam or my jelly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Um, that's my rut. Jam and jelly. So covers out, websites up, book trailers done. Yeah. What's uh, what's what's next on the uh, big to do list, so to speak? Get the other book going. Oh. <laughs> uh, she gotta get this one. I, I'm kind of doing, you know, this one ramping up to you know getting out, get it, get it edits finished, mm-hmm. get advanced reader copies, get it on okay Edelweiss or NetGalley or wherever, and putting it for folks. Okay. For previews. Excellent. And then release in May. May. But in the meantime, okay. I've got to get the other one going. So that's a November release, provided all goes well. And have you um I have have you started on that one a little bit? Have you outlined? Have you uh, where where are we here? Uh, the November book? Sure. Oh that that one's that one's written in the that's hands done of the too. editor as of this week. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. The next, I was thinking next one oh, in oh, Emma, the next Emma, one in this series. Emma, yeah, in that series. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean I've got the whole eight, nine book. I say eight or nine. I mean, it's not sure. like it's flexible. Like, well, maybe it'll be nine books. No, it's it's eight books plus possibly a prequel, which I would just sure. really want to do because I think it'd be cool. Because yeah, I yeah. love these characters again. Uh, it'd be neat to see where they all came from. Okay. okay. Um, there's a story there. <laughs> so so that that's it's arced. It's locked. I can't do anything because, well, I'm going to spoil it if I say. <laughs> but when you get to book eight, you're going to go, oh. At least, hopefully, you will. If the book did what it's supposed to, yeah. When you get to book eight, you're going to, oh, okay, <laughs> cool, oh. cool, all right. Um, so I mean, it's it's all locked, and some of it's been written. I mean, okay, yeah. but so right now is... I've got to concentrate on the nitty gritty of getting these two books that are out this year. Your perfect. November book being book f- four of Bookminder. No, no. no. Book, Bookminder three is just sitting. In the that's queue. right. It's still in the queue. That's right. That's right. Uh, this is. The the Sherlock one. Oh, I forgot about that one. I know, right? <laughs> See, we've just talked about a whole lot of nothing for folks here. Oh my no, gosh, that's okay. That's hey, all right. What that's you got me. in your flight? I'm just interrogating over here is what I'm doing, and that's uh, I'm doing, doing a pretty good job. I'm getting yeah, yeah. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, information that you're uh, barely re- to barely start ready to I talk think we need about. To start over. No, no, I no, no. Got anything out of that. There are no mulligans in radio. All right, how far are we into this, people? Um, Nine minutes and thirteen seconds. Just we need so to have people know. just skip ahead nine minutes when they start it. This is interesting, though, because I think they're going to hear a writer no. squirming. <laughs> as, yeah, that's as, what we do. As someone, as someone, that's what we all do. As someone is, like, nosing in on your territory, yeah, which is me. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's part of the job description. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, do you uh, – are you still going to any writers' groups at all? Do you have any, any – or any urge for that? I mean, are you – It's winter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm you, snowed in now. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> you know? We're not quite there yet, but – I don't uh, walk there, I don't go. Okay, okay. Well, we have one here at the Cedar right, Public Library. I would Library. love to go to that. I, I've been I'm saying we need to get them on the radio. It would be awesome. Well – Have you approached them about – I would say now I get to call him out. No, no, I'm, I'm glad – no, I, this is very targeted by me. I can't tell me. if he oh, you, to do the Sunway you, or you, – You think, you, ha- so you, think you have here. checkmate, but in fact I do. But go ahead. 
Um, no, that was actually a softball lobbing to help you out there. Ready? Um, <laughs> so our writers group is currently in. We're gonna. T- I'm just yeah. gonna play it all out. It's in crisis right now. No. Yes. Why? We lost our leader. It's rudderless. Oh, I've been on that boat. <laughs> I, I used to sail in Madison. Uh-huh. I've been on that boat. <laughs> um, what? Yeah, our leader walked away this week. Well, it's a commitment. It is, and is she did a, month, a wonderful month, job. Monthly commitment? Once a month. Uh, third Wednesday of the month. That's, that's huge. See, look, yeah, I'm getting all that info for you. <laughs> yeah. um, it wasn't bad. No, I mean, actually, it's just uh, she what is... What you mean? You have to be there. You have to be committed to being it. Being present is fine, but it doesn't require a lot of pre-work. I, I led the no. thing for three three or four months, and it was fine. Okay, you had three or more months. No, <laughs> well, yeah, no, but I had See? the radio, it's, you know, I mean, that's, if I, I will tell you, actually, uh, well, my, it's an minus filmmaking, minus radio, I'd be back there in a heartbeat, and I'd be running, uh, the, I'd be running the thing, because I, lo- I loved it. I loved doing it. Does it need someone to lead? Can it just yes. exist? Yes. Oh. No, you can just exist. It's at the uh, library. Someone le- locks the door for you and they say, get in. That's kind of- <laughs> <laughs> That's how it you works You can lead here. a horse to water, uh, but you can't make him drink. It's, um. it's writing. It should be basically this close to anarchy at all points anyway, right? <laughs> well, Take that's their true. advice. We have no rules. We threw that book over. And that, well, you know what? That's, that, that, is kind of, that is kind of the writer's group. It's yeah. always been that, and that's why I've loved it, because Ding. it's not- Yeet? Yeah, it's exactly it's the, the Yeet writers yeet? group. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, and no, in fact, I know, it's I don't at the mean point. To make light of that, I, obviously. That yeah. It's at the oh. point that group is at the point actually where, in some ways, you could actually just say Wednesday night either we'll sit and talk about writing or we'll actually just come in and write. Yeah, okay. And it's a beautiful thing. I mean, it really yeah, is. Like so I, I was tempting mean, with my little Inklings of Oz thing. Group of writers sure. get together on a Tuesday afternoon, possibly at a pub. <clears throat> and uh, We don't have our liquor license yet, it, folks. It, I'm sorry. It, We're know, working on it. If the tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, did, yeah. it, did it fall? Right. Thing, you know, if no one else showed up, did did, it, did Inklings happen? You know, it was well, once a month. And yeah. during the winter months, I was like, eh, eh. And then I found out that the, the Tuesday I had picked was I was always busy. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Well, huh. it's a really support. I mean, it's huh. just a beautiful well, supportive are thing. People accustomed and- to coming. Yeah. It will it will move on. It will continue. I think they're panicking. Yeah. I think few people are panicking. Uh, not everybody, uh, but I think there's a few people in the group who are kind of feel okay. like um, we we need uh, we need a captain. We need a Picard. Engage. Um, I'm, which, I'm avoiding which, spoilers on Picard. No, 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 no. No, I have no, I have no spoilers. I didn't watch. I, can't stick I, didn't watch. I know nothing. I know nothing about on. it. I just know that it exists. That's all I know. Okay. Um, I know nothing. Um, mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, so yeah. yeah. Got some Croatian for you. <laughs> it's a multi multilingual show today. <laughs> it's Yiddish and Croatian. I think they get along. Um, but um, yeah. So I don't know. Okay. Would you, Would that be something you'd come in and do? Oh, I'm asking you on the like, air. He's not going to do that. He's, I'm like, he wouldn't have I connected. totally would do that. I, I, I would ask on I the air. In fact, I just did. I have weeknight commitments with my Croatian okay. performing group. Wednesday, third Wednesday nights of the month? Because of the other nights that I have commitments. <laughs> it, you know what I mean? I do. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, I just I'd, have to, that I'd have to have a, a, a house meeting Oh. to determine if that would work well. We should have that house meeting on the air. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> We're going to take a break. When we come be back. To someone even more shy than me. <laughs> we'll talk about more stuff after this. I like this episode. I don't know. Some people might not. <laughs> Copyright music for you from Topher Moore and Alex Elena. That's the creek. And I don't have to pay anybody for it. <laughs> it's royalty free. They put it right there on their page. So that's a beautiful thing. Thanks, guys. Or girls. Anyway, take no advice. Back on the air as we uh, flounder through this week's episode and uh, and search like Indiana Jones, like archaeologists for <laughs> some sort of goal and point. That's all right. Um, it's a process piece. It is. It is. It absolutely is. But that's, you know, it reflects writing too. Sometimes you sit down and you got nothing. This is what happens when I show up and I suggest two topics and we talk about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Well, you know. <laughs> you know, we uh, here cross promotion, you know, we have a, a new uh, variety show in the community room, uh, Jack Hankey Show, every Friday, noon to one, lunchtime infotainment. Yeah, you should come in and uh, watch the show, and we're going to have you on as a guest, of course. 
I'm working. From noon to one? I'm working any hour that there's daylight and the clock's running. <laughs> <laughs> I take time we'll out. You, this is work. We'll but, bring but, you... <laughs> Right, right. <laughs> Bring your work with you. <laughs> Don't mind. You're only on for 10 yeah. minutes. So it's a 10 minute shot. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's thank fun. You. you should come on. So we'll yeah, see how yeah. it goes. All right. <laughs> anyway, uh, what else he's, you were? He's just. I'm just throwing. Pushing, I, pushing, I, pushing, I totally. I, it's, uh, this is, this is uh, you I know. I should have brought my fencing sword today. Yikes. <laughs> There's that great episode of Letterman when he had Joaquin Phoenix on. Where, you know, <laughs> and that's I've kind of Letterman here. I'm just throwing out these, these things. And boom. You know, I'm just kind of going. So um, anyway, so this is fun for me. I keep trying to bring you back to your topic, and you're just not biting. You're just not <laughs> happening. All <Yikes>. right. <laughs> See, I can't lead in bupkis. <laughs> I can't lead one person on a show. <laughs> That's supposed to be uh, stuff I talk about. Um, <laughs> ah, ye, ye, we're coming up. <laughs> I you know I was I was editing uh, last week's show. Actually, I was a little behind, so I was editing last week's show yesterday. That was a fantastic episode, by the way. Oh, good. No, uh, it was folks, really folks good. Listen to that one. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. so, uh, yeah. So, um, and you were just—I mean, you were you were dialed in, and you had like all these great, uh, really just keeper moments. You know, it was See, awesome. and I had all these things I was going to say today. You can. <laughs> We're out of time. It hasn't really gone that way. All right. It may not be right. interesting. Well, we never, we never take that into consideration when we do these things. <laughs> we just kind of, you know, actually kind of my process. Oh, I okay. Aha, process. But, right. I, I don't, I don't sit and think how is this going to sell copies. You know what I mean? I'm call. I, mean, I got a title of today's episode. By the way, the mm. white, the white page, the blank page. Because I think that's perfect. Okay. <laughs> that's what this is. This, is, this was uh, a, yeah. this was free writing. Yeah, yeah this was free yeah, radio. This is, this is the the brain barf on a page. Absolutely. Sit down, pen to paper, and just go. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah. It it's an it's interesting exercise in itself. But really, it's more like. We should have done this at a coffee shop. And, you know. <laughs> no, no, with, I mean, without a recorder? But, but process-wise, I, I've just been having a talk with uh, an author friend who she's actually writing a very personal piece. Mm. Normally she doesn't do things that are really personal. And I'm not going to call her out on it because I don't want to do that to no, her. No. Uh, I have a lot of writer friends. You can guess which one it is because I have a lot of them. Um, <laughs> but, but this is someone who we, we've talked about what you put in and who your audience is and why you're writing the thing. And the boldness that it takes to claim the thing when you did the thing, because people are going to take it, read it, react, etc. And if you put something of you in there, which I conscientiously kind of avoid, because you've said that before, yeah, because I mean, I even said, you know, I, I have things I keep for me. I said this during our, our break here. I said, there's things I will keep for me. Yeah. There are certain pains that are mine. That's true. Certain experiences, certain thoughts that I, I don't. I don't want to share them. And it's not that I don't think they're valid or that it wouldn't help someone or or that they're onerous or, you know, whatever. Yeah. They're they're mine. And I, I want to have something of me. And that's, you know, I'm not exactly, you know, out there being Little Miss Public Figure. Like I said, an unpopular writer of popular fiction. <laughs> right, right. I thought it was the other way around. I thought exactly. it was that <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I, I go both Welcome ways. The, I well, go both ways. Yes. Welcome to the second half of the show where we flip the tables. Flip the script. Uh, if you flip it over, it's still a blank page. <laughs> that is true. That is um, very true. Ooh, that was actually pretty deep. I wasn't bad. <laughs> I like that. If that's uh, the, if we, if we could come away from the episode with that, we did we did wow. well today. <laughs> that was that was that's that sums it up. It's a nice no, place to no, be. No, um, but but. Uh, I like writing fantasy. I like writing historical. I like to. to I don't know why I like. Writing. <laughs> you know, when it comes right down to it, it's like, gosh, golly gee. You know, who is my audience? Why am I writing for? I just. I want to add another book, to the world. And I get that not yes. everyone reads the same. Like, like I said, I threw the cover art out for my story, and about three days before I did that, knowing that I was ready to release this cover art. I made this very, you know, me wordy. I made what turned out to be kind of a long disclaimer that I was going to post on <laughs> Facebook three days prior to dropping the cover art that was like... I remember that. Yes. Quoting <laughs> Raganathan's Law is a Library of Science for every book, his its reader, and for every reader, his or, you know, their book. Sure. Um, two of the five laws. And I love to quote, quote them often, especially when I see people bashing what people like to read. Because yeah. I'm going, 
they're enjoying it. Let it be. Right, right. You know? well, um, oh, that br- well, so, no, that's, that brings up a really good, and I don't know if this, mm-hmm. this might snap into this conversation, or it might not. You let me know. Um, there's a big thing right now in the booktube world, which I listen to uh, when I wash dishes at night. I listen to all these booktubers. These are people who just read and talk about books. So it's a okay. wonderful thing. Yeah. And it's just, it's not professional. It's just, it's kind of, oh. weird, kind of you know. Kind of what we're doing. <laughs> so um, it's not bunk quasi. Yeah, that's good. Um, I mean, there's some really good ones out there. Um, there is a big thing about, um, uh, they call it uh, bro, uh, dude bro lit. I don't know if you've heard the term before. No, but I like <laughs> the, the cheekiness of that. So, just yes. not knowing what it is. I'm like, oh man, I just want to be like dude bro lit. So, uh, no, I don't think you do. Uh-oh. <laughs> um, Uh-oh. So the problem Uh-oh. with dude bro, the problem with dude okay. bro lit is like it's so it's usually what these people will contend. It's not always it's it's, it's pretty fair across uh, both genders, you know. Um, mm-hmm. And they are damning people who come on and talk about how much they like Hemingway, how much they like uh, Fitzgerald, how much they like you know the, the the basics, the classics, the the ones that we regard. And they say that's just dudes, like dude, bro, you know. These are like uh, uh, American, you know. Um, uh, comparative literature students in the collegiate level coming out and saying, "Yeah, I love uh, the sun also rises and uh, the what's Great Gatsby." Uh, what's wrong about it is that apparently they're saying all these things are all just about white males, and we should be uh, canceling all of that. Is what's it's, 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 this is not a small thing. This is uh, David Foster Wallace. I'm a big fan of uh, Infinite Jest. That came out if you're familiar with. For Infinite my own Jest. sake of my own mental health, I try to stay out of those. Oh sure, fightings. It's not. I mean, I get that the it's not fighting. People it's, need to have the discussion right. about what and it need is. and what needs to have a sure. voice. I, I am. I'm all, I mean, but huh? Yeah, I, so. I'd have to know about more of that. And, and the actual guts of it to, to make any intelligible it's, comment on it. It's interesting because it's very snarky. It's not it's not a fight oh, yet. Okay. It's just it's just. I'm used late. to Twitter where everything comes a fight real quick. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, YouTube takes a little bit of production to uh, you know okay. so so the the, the huh. stakes aren't ramped up as fast because you have no, to like, I understand make a video to diversify the educational sure. system yeah. as far as what you're taught Absolutely. to read. Um, yeah, you know, like Nathaniel Hawthorne. Oh no, that's no, I'm sorry, that's Dude Bro Lit cancelled. Interesting. Oh, Dude Bro Lit is not what I expected the words to be in. I yeah. was picturing more like surfer guy throwing a shotgun. <laughs> dude no, bro. Uh... Why would you call dude bro for, for you know It's like Thomas Pynchon, I think. Or, you're saying, oh, you know. oh my um, God. No, okay, so that didn't hook into what I was saying at all. Well, no, no, no. I just No, what I was uh, Yeah, go ahead. I was gonna say, you know, because I don't post stuff about my writing on my personal page right. all that often, if any you know. And I uh, I was talking to my mom about the two books that are going to release this year, and she's really excited for the one that comes out in May. Yes. Because it's historical fantasy. Sure. It's much more in keeping with my first series. Mm-hmm. And she just, oh, she likes what she's heard me tell her about it. I'm thinking, I don't know how much I've told her about it, per se, because I've been thinking to myself, please don't read this one. <laughs> no, uh, you know, it's, it's um, I don't know, there's, it goes places emotionally that, you know, you're like, ah, uh, you feel a little bit weird. I, you know, I don't uh-huh. like to write personal, but, you know, when, you, when you've stepped into a character and put them in an emotional place Mm -hmm. you're acting and i'm like (laughs) you get the little heebie-jeebies um but the the my sherlock one i'm like i want everyone to read it sure my mom's like yeah i don't think i'm gonna really that's not my jam (laughs) i'm really so bad at the bay one though and i'm going oh you know and she supports she'll read anything Uh, but i mean i wanted to say um to my Facebook, you know, I had this disclaimer pen for, I'm going to be dropping cover art very soon. I'm going to be talking because I'm actually self-pubbing for the first time ever. Um, but I wanted to quote Ragan Athens' Laws of Library Science and tell you, you know, not everyone likes to read this sort of book, et cetera, et cetera. And I was thinking to myself, well, when I actually looked at it written down, it looked stupid. So I didn't put it out because I was like, you know what? People know. If they're my friend, they don't have to go out to buy my book. I mean, like I said, I have friends who are, if they're a dentist, I don't necessarily have them to clean my teeth. Uh, you know, uh, if they're a cop, they're not going to write me a ticket. No. <laughs> Sorry, I had to go with the absurdist, you know. But, but you know, it's um, it's it's an awkward thing because you are you don't mean to have the accident of advertising to your friends by sharing something that's really neat that you're doing that's, that is your own business. True. So, because I get it. Some people, I, I have friends who've looked at me and gone, I still have Bookminder on my to-do list because it's 400 pages. Uh-huh. I, I don't read 400 pages. I'm like, I'll get it. Yeah, but I'm like, I don't need 
I don't need to. I, right, right. Read what you will. I don't mean to force my book down your throat. You can you know? offer them the audio book at that point, if you like. Uh, it's 13 hours long. <laughs> you oh. know. Yeah, Which, you know. It's still a 400-page book. That's true. That's very true. You know, you can listen to it fast forward. But no, no, no. I oh, guess. don't do that. Well, actually, people do. They I know. They slower or faster. I find that interesting. Yeah, I find that a little... Yeah, that that, that, got, I, that I'm okay with. It's too many books and not enough time. Right. They've ported that over into Netflix now, though, where you can watch movies at double time. That makes me nervous. You are kidding, right? No, it's there. You can do it now. Yep. 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 Not double time. That'd probably be too much. Uh, but I, you can speed it up. But, but like uh, third time. Probably third time. Uh, I don't like that. The, the, I want to watch a Chipmunks movie like that. <laughs> because right. it does uptick the sound, right? <laughs> it's twice as funny. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I don't like that. Consume. Yeah, right. <laughs> as someone who devour. Makes, as someone who makes entertainment for consumption. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I suppose. Yeah. I mean, who are who are we to tell people what? How? Interesting. To, you know. That's interesting because it is exactly. I, I was just having a discussion earlier this week at home. That is, I'm going for the opposite when I write. I am going for a 400 page, slow, thing. <laughs> that's not in vogue right now, you know. No, I'm, and that's the thing. I'm aware. What's new? Of it. It's hot. It's fast. And, and, you know, and, and MTV. I'm aware of that. Yeah. I'm aware that it's not a tweet. Yeah. I'm aware that it isn't a quick little snapshot snack. Yeah, yeah. And I'm aware that I mean, I, we're, we're, it, this kind of went back around to Lord of the Rings, and however now and then, sure. Lord of the Rings makes the rounds on Twitter, and there's a discussion of how many Lord of the Rings fans have actually read the books and not skimmed them. Oh, my. Et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Because people go, oh. And then there's like a three-page description of a hillside, and I'm going, that's my jam, my yeah, jelly. Yeah. Don't knock it. Huh. You know. That is... <laughs> which I guess is part of the whole dude bro. Right. right yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, all, it all is related. Exactly. It all comes back. Yeah. You know, and for me, it's, you know... I. It's rule breaking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. keep doing slow. That's what I we like. We broke some radio rules on this episode, uh. <laughs> which I liked. <laughs> I like this, an existen- oh, but, kind of an existential episode. Yeah, yeah. I guess the thing is, I'm still publishing, and yes, I'm breaking are. the rules, yeah. and I'm doing my thing. And but what it happens? Works. What happens? People like it. Yeah. What happens if I you have break to out? Of what it? if you break out? What do you mean if I break? Out? It's huge. What if uh, MI gets massive? No. It could happen. No, because then I'd have to cheapen it. Wouldn't I? <laughs> I'd have to Hollywood it. Would you? Wouldn't I? I don't know. <laughs> just I don't... for the, for, I mean, just uh, the, the, mar- the way that the shape of the market as it is right now, there'd have to be a seismic shift. But that, that. That seismic shift you're talking about, that is, I was just listening to a podcast this week about the fact that when the, cu- the culture changes, not by, not by little uh, tiny baby steps, it usually is a seismic shift. Mm-hmm. And suppose you're part of that, part of some sort of wave of like, oh, hey, this is literature now. We're bringing vinyl back, right? Well, no, it comes down to, I mean, and I enjoy That's, a good movie. I enjoy going sure. to the cinema. I do. I enjoy good books that are coming out every mm-hmm. month. Uh, I'm not to say oh, I'm bogged down a dupe, bro. You know, mm-hmm. You're right? Right. <laughs> uh, there's something. There's something gorgeous about what's going on right now. But I mean, yeah. I, I was saying to my my husband, our little house meeting of you know, writer eggs. You have to get I these said, on the air. He was, he was going, you know, well, what exactly do you mean? And I said, pick a trailer, any trailer. And we pulled up a sure. movie trailer on YouTube, and it was about two minutes long, I think. Standard. Yeah, and I, yeah. And I started on my fingers ticking off. I went cut, mm. cut. Cut, 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 cut. Yep. Ooh, the do yep. noise. Yep. Cut, cut. <laughs> oh, there's a guy with a growly voice. Yeah. Cut, yep. cut, cut. And I was like, we got done. That was like 50 plus cuts. Sounds right. Yeah. And I said, did you even notice that you didn't see anything for more than four seconds mm-hmm. at a time on average? And he's like, <gasps> ah, you just ruined every trailer for him for the rest of his natural life. Well, I said, you know, I've got the video and animation background, yeah. so I see the change over time. I've got the film history there. Yeah, yeah. And we are speeding up. We're speeding up astronomically. We, we are, but there's a big sub. And I see it there's in, a big subsection that's slowing I see down. It in the nieces and nephews. Sure. Oh yeah. That's video games and, and tablets and all well, that kind of stuff. They're too young for all that right now. And they're oh. still d- 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 yeah. because the world stimulates. It's, 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 mm-hmm. it's part of, I think, why we're really excited. I mean, other than the fact that he did so much good 
everyone's kind of harkening back to that Mr. Rogers slowness. Yes. Yep. And, and mm-hmm. I think if you look at the way that that show is cut, everything happens yeah. slow. We just got a brand new Mr. Rogers Neighborhood Pictorial uh, History uh, coffee and table size book. I brought okay. it to lunch yesterday. Okay. I brought it to the chocolate factory, and uh, um, and I was late coming back from lunch because it was so uh. beautiful. <laughs> it was so beautiful. I, I mean, yeah. And that's, I mean, I'm looking out of the snow, and everyone's going slow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you better <laughs> no, no, <but> I mean, <laughs> if you like your car. A, there are yeah. moments where we like to sit in slow, and I'm trying to to speak into those moments and say, I hear you, I'm there. The adoption of the hig lifestyle is... Uh, yeah, 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 or the, what is that, slow TV, where it's, yeah. you know, six oh, yeah, hours right, of a train right, ride. Right. Bob, Bob Ross is doing real well these days. Uh, uh, you know, right, yeah, right. yeah, absolutely. But, I mean, the, a lot of the people my age are, you know, grew up analog, yeah. adult, digital, you and bet. we're looking back, and it's not, I mean, not only are you going to naturally at this age get that nostalgic feel yeah. for those few, de- you know, few years as a kid when you, have the right to yeah. nap regularly. Right, right. You're, you're given snacks. You have very little <laughs> responsibility by and large. Those are my kids, by the way. I'm doing that in my house. Play. Yes. And 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 yep. Yep. you know, it's that whole adulting is hard thing. Yeah, it is. Um, it mostly yeah, sucks. It comes with some sound. amazing perks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but but I mean, when you get to a certain age, there's Still a little party that wishes you could take a nap on an yeah. afternoon. You know, and and that's hitting at the exact same point where we're going a little bit cross-eyed over the speed of twitter and instagram yeah. and keeping yeah. up and if everyone keeps up you've got to keep up and, yes yeah uh, and or do you just, right rebellion right i mean <laughs> I, i've been i've been calling my own little rebellion here and <laughs> and isn't that what a library is about too that's yeah. a beautiful thing about a library is that it's the one place the last bastion that i know of Besides uh, the Java House, uh, the, <laughs> you're welcome, Lisa. Uh, the last place <laughs> where uh, she's selling hug in a cup this week. It's called Huga. Oh this, yeah, she's had that the last it? couple of years. Oh, it's that's amazing. good. Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I had my first one <laughs> on cool. Sunday. It was so good. But anyway, we come into a library, and what's the expectation? We want you to sit and read. We don't want you to spend money. If you have overdue books, we may ask. You know, could you maybe take care of that as soon oh, as possible? I saw some tweets about fine for you this morning. From this place, from uh-huh. here. Oh, I didn't know they were going public with that already. Really? <gasps> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just part of the discussion. It wasn't anything, you know, like here we are. It was okay. It was, it was someone that, that that I know goes here. Uh huh. And I think that there was like, hey, yeah, there's rumblings. Um, let's just say there's rumblings. Chicago did it. Uh huh. <laughs> did it well. It's right. there's rumblings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's rumblings everywhere. Right. That's I had to just. Yeah. No, you're. Dig. No, I mean, it's not like some. It, no, yeah, yeah. We didn't blow the lid <laughs> off it. This is not a hot take. Um, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's interesting. But that's the beautiful thing about a library. That's why I love working mm-hmm. here, too. I come into work and the expectation is to, uh, you know, no, shuffle. The public sh- is leaning on, on the, hey, guys, get with it. Yeah, right. <laughs> We, right. we read, we read ALA sweets. Yeah. <laughs> we, we get it. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think at the break, you and I were both a little uh, leery of this episode. But as we come to the end, <laughs> still I think, have, I think we've no. I, I feel, feel like I've said a lot of nothing. I, <laughs> I, but but what's wrong with that? I mean, I think that that's you know. I mean, I, I think want to pe- be useful. I say a lot of nothing in my books on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know when you came here you wanted to be useful. <laughs> no, but you know, CPL radio is a, that kind of reflects what I do here too. It's different radio, and it's just like mm-hmm. I don't mind that if we put out. I'm, it's right. Just no, no, this to isn't know. meant I'm, to be a how to or no, what not to do. Take no I, advice. I really don't want to ever go into. Yeah. You must write x no. amount of words per day. You must sit at your desk. You know. You know, like you said, if if you know, I want to say, God forbid, if I ever got famous, because hey. yeah, I think that would freak God me out. Um, but if it, let's say I might took off or something. So you don't want to be rich and famous. I, you just like to get rich. No. <laughs> you know, I mean, just without the fame. No, I just. Do you want to be able to keep doing what you're doing? You want to keep doing what you're doing? Weird statistic they put out right. 30 years in an infogram saying yeah. and she was at her desk at 4 a.m every <laughs> right, morning with right, a cup right, of tea right. and her pen in her left hand absolutely and this yeah. is how you write a book no that's not that's not how I. Write. this has been a show you know of, what I mean? yeah this is, uh, i'll be the asterisk that says <laughs> didn't know squat <laughs> did it didn't <laughs> know squat but did it anyway okay right. hello which is like boom do it oh, that's, the, that's the, if you ever need it you don't need permission but easiest Easiest excuse. There, there. I'll give excuses. We arrive. T- take, <laughs> not take no advices. Receive lots of excuses. <laughs> no, something oh like that. <laughs> Come back next week. We will do more of this. I had fun. I don't know. <laughs> Thanks. I liked it. <laughs>